Alright, so uh, hello YouTube. Today I'd like to make a video showing you how to use uh, Windows.h and C++ to create a text box on your window in which the user can type and the program can collect whatever the user's typed and then store it somehow. So for this we've got pretty much the default project except that I've changed the title, the dimensions, and I made it WSS menu uh, for the type of window and I gave it a minimize box which means that the window can be minimized but it can't be resized basically and it makes it easier for a simple application if you don't handle resizing so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a we're gonna declare a variable of hwin type handle to window uh, and we'll call it text box yeah let's call it text box and then uh, down here in this the mess or the message handler function you'll see that I've added a few things that we had in the previous videos just to speed this along I added WM create and WM command and then I also got the button action handler part in here which is our buttons gonna be number one so basically what we're gonna have at the end of this video is we're gonna have a program where it's got a window and then it's got a text box that the user can type in and then beside it there's gonna be a button to uh, submit whatever you've typed and then after you've submitted it the program's gonna uh, acknowledge in some way that it's captured whatever message you've typed so uh, I've already built what's here right now other than that handle but that won't cause a difference I'll just show you what it is there you go there's the basic window we've got and yeah let's get started so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the actual text box and you do this by we'll take that parameter first or that variable the handle and we'll set it equal to the return of the create window function that we've been using all this time and so the first parameter of the create window function is the type of window you want in previous videos we used type button and type static. Static was a uh, non-editable text and button of course was a button. For this the parameter is just edit in quotes and then the next parameter is what you want if you want the text box to initially say something like hello for example you can have that but I'm just gonna leave it blank um, so that the user so that the text box is just blank uh, when the program starts now the next uh, parameter is just all the basically the attributes you want to give it so I'm gonna give it WS border or WS child and then um, WS visible and so the next parameter I believe that was the dimensions were the next parameter. Let me just double check that. Yep, uh, the next four parameters are all the dimensions, and then the last four are these. This is the create window function on MSDN. Um, and I've got the other function that we're going to use over here uh, called get window text. That's how we're going to actually get the text for the window, but I'll bring that back later. So let's for our x coordinate let's uh, say we want it 10 and 10 just to be simple I know I always use 10 and 10 but um, now the next parameter is how wide we want it to be uh, up here we made our window 500 so I don't know, let's make this 400 give us plenty of room for the user to type and then height is usually good as 20 I find at the default font size and then the next parameter we just want to patch pass h wind which was the handle to our parent window up here wait yeah here and then um, the next parameter I believe th actually the last three we can just leave null alright so we've got our text box created and now I will just attempt to run this program and make sure we have no errors. It's compiling. Uh, 
Alright, there we go. There's what the window looks like. As you can see, it's all jammed up in the top here because, well, not jammed, but, you know, I'm, I could have moved it down if I wanted. And as you can see, you can type hello world or anything you really want. You can backspace it. If you press enter, you just get a sound uh, telling you that there's nothing to do, basically, or basically don't press enter because it's not going to do anything, I guess. And the program right now, it doesn't have any way of storing this. The program never, it, it never gets saved into memory. If you were, like, there's no action that's taken on whatever you type, but that's going to be the next thing that we do. So in order to take an action to store what's typed, you can do that in basically any way. You could have the program constantly uh, capturing it until it find something that it can use or something like you could just do it in a loop or in our case what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a button and when the user clicks the button the program's gonna uh, capture whatever's typed in the edit box so we're just gonna call create window I'm not gonna worry about a uh, handle to the window for this one because we don't need it in this tutorial um, you might want to do it in your programs in case you find out later that you do need it for something like if you want to destroy the button later when you're moving on to another uh, frame or something but for the sake of this video we're just not going to worry about having something like this in front of it because you can just leave it out if you don't need it so the type is button then the next parameter we'll just say we'll make the button say go then we want visible ws child and ws border and uh, the next parameters are, of course are the dimensions as the same as this one so since we put it at 10 and it's 4 100 wide, uh, yeah, 10 and 400 wide. Let's put it at 420 for the x coordinate, and then 10 again for the y coordinate, and then uh, for the width, well, the max width of the window is 500, so the max we can have is 80. But to make it look nice, we'll probably 70 would probably work well. Oh. And then uh, the last one, 20 again. Oh. Then we pass the the next parameter, which is the uh, handle to the parent window. My bad, I can't type today. And now for this one, we're gonna. This is basically, as you remember in the previous video of button actions, this is you've got case one here, which is we're just gonna make this button number one. Basically, it could be whatever. It could be ten or a hundred, but for the purpose of this one we're just gonna make it one so we type actually I think that's capitalized we type cast it to H menu for that parameter is basically H menu in brackets and then one and then the next two can be null all right uh, so now we've got, if we build this, we should have a window that's got a text box and a button beside it that says go, and when we click the button that says go, nothing will happen. And, uh, the last part is going to be how do we actually get the text and store it. Let's just give it a second to compile, and there you go. There's the window there, and there's our button, which doesn't do anything. We can type... And it still doesn't do anything. All right, so we're gonna go over here to this uh, case one thing, and this is the code that's gonna run when this button is clicked. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to create an integer. Uh, I usually call it GWT stat. So what this integer is is it's gonna return uh, the status of the call to get window text. And what get window text returns is it returns zero if there is an error, and it returns um, I think if there like it will return zero if nothing was copied or it couldn't copy something or something like that or some other error. And I'm pretty sure 
if there was no error, I'm pretty sure it returns the number of characters copied. Uh, let me just check. Return value. Yeah. So um, here's the function here. It's nice that it only takes three parameters. Uh, the first one is the handle to the window ca creating uh, containing the text, and that would be this text box handle that we created. The second one was, I believe it was a pointer to a string where we want to hold the text, so it can be a car star pointer. And then the last parameter is the maximum uh, number of characters that we want to copy. So if the if we've got a array of characters that only holds 20 and the user types in uh, 25 things, then I guess it'll, it'll either cut it off or it'll return something saying it couldn't do it. I'm not sure which. But uh, we can always find out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to say GWT stat equals get window t text and then uh, text box and then what we're going to want to do here is we'll create just another global variable uh, containing the text oops stupid mouse Char. I'll just call it text. Saved. Text saved. All right, and we'll make this twenty characters long. So now what we want to do is we want to create a pointer to the first element. So let's click. Okay. Car star t equals text saved zero. Oops, what did I just do? Oh my god. Sorry about that. And we probably want that ampersand in there. Anyway, uh, so now for this parameter, we're just going to pass t. And then uh, we're going to make this parameter 20 which is the maximum number of uh, bytes that you want to copy so now uh, that should work uh, it should copy the text let's just build it and see if there's no errors alright so no problems with that I think you can also do this instead actually to get rid of this T variable I think you can just say text saved okay maybe maybe not oh you can do that anyway uh, so what you're gonna do is uh, now if you wanna ch check that they actually entered text or check what the text is we're just gonna say um, message box hwind um, text we'll make the title and the body both say whatever they entered and then I think that was null that you can put there oh no sorry not null you want mb okay So what this should do is the user can type something in and then uh, once the user has entered something they can press go and then it should pop up a message box saying uh, what the user entered. So I'm just going to type hello world. There you go, you get your message box there, it says hello world and hello world yet again. Uh, we can do it many times if we want. Now let's just see what happens if we, let's make something that's more than 20 characters because I haven't actually tested that. I wonder if that's more than 20 characters, it looks like it is. 
Yeah, it looks like it just cuts it off. Alright, uh, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, I apologize that this video was a little bit long. Hopefully it helps you. Um, what you can do here, one more thing, is you can say like if GWT stat if it's zero that means that they didn't enter anything so you could say like prompt to something like that you would you could pop up something saying like please enter the name of the file or whatever it is that you're trying to collect anyway uh, thanks for watching guys hopefully this video helped you uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions